Hey guys, Sonia Soy Sasa Sas, and welcome to another cigar review. And today we have another cigar brought to you by Smoke One. If you have one, Eric. And uh, what's the name of this thing? Okay. Make sure I got the right one. It's called Las Stados Deluxe Maduro Toro. There we go. There we go. So um, let's take a quick look on this particular cigar. So this cigar is 6x52 Toro, with the wrapper being Connecticut Broadleaf, binder being Nicaraguan, the filler being Dominican, Priolo, and two other Honduran tobacco. And as you can see, this thing is like rough and toothy, and the cap is uh, non-existently bad. But everything else looks okay. It looks tasty. So we'll see. That's the cigar from the inside. Of course, you saw me take this off. So I'm gonna open this up and see what's up with this. If I could open it up. Uh, is that a tape or glue? Okay. No, it's glue. Yeah, it's glue. It's impossible. It's impossible. Yeah, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I'm just gonna try my best to rip this apart so I can flatten it out for you guys to see. But it's going to look like a dog chewed it. <clears throat> a dog chewed it. All right. <clears throat> Excuse the, the dog to the edge, but LSD look like this. LSD. But every time I bought it, I bought it like this. I always think that said PS something, but LSD. Okay. And inside, obviously, you have this separates it. And this goes right to the trash. Horrible, horrible, horrible. All right. <laughs> MSRP, I don't know. Roughly $9.50. So let's take it as $9.50. Okay. And let's get smoking. Mm. Smells like <clears throat> leafy, a little bit of cocoa, just a little bit. Very faint cocoa. <clears throat> let's get that. Going why I have all these bits on me. This cap is dangerous. I don't know. I think this cap is just gonna give me a hard time. It is so small of a cap. Just barely anything there. See, after I cut it, I only cut this little bit off. There's no more cap left. There is no more cap left. This is horrible. Woodsy, hay, a little bit of like barnyard and cocoa. 
A little bit of sweetness too. This is gonna give me so much trouble. Ever already warned you. He's like, good luck with that cigar. I was like, oh, we'll see, we'll see. We will see. It's a little bit of good weather today. I didn't have to turn on the heat, so we'll see. <clears throat> All right, let's go. There's a leak somewhere. Yep, Fonya, Coco, sp some sort of spice. A little bit of mustiness, a little bit of damp leaf. A little bit of like those grape dryness, not sweet. I'm talking about that. That mouthfeel when you drink a wine and that's really like dry to you. <clears throat> I can definitely taste that chocolate though. There's a, like a, yeah, it's like a great peel, dry bitterness to it. Even though dry means sweet. <laughs> That's pretty much yeah, what I get. It's really weird. I think there's a leak somewhere that's not giving me a full drop, but we'll find out. We'll find out as we go. So, one third. Be right back. All right, one third. Uh, the draw. Number one, the draw is kind of weird. Like, it's not like you're puffing on it and not a lot of smoke is going through. Number two, the flavor is basically chili pepper, dry, bitter grape skin, cocoa. And a little bit of a woodsy sweetness. But the bitterness overtake that sweetness anytime. So it's like, it's there, but there's also a bitter. You know, like the same time, if you eat something bitter and eat something sweet at the same time, it doesn't balance itself out. It just tastes sweet and bitter. That's what it is right now. That's what it is. Uh, strength is about a medium, not crazy or anything like that. So it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. Talking to the boys, smoking this thing. Um, this thing keep telling me that it's here. Like it didn't, it didn't evolve into that conversation. It evolved into like, I'm having a conversation, but this thing is like killing me. So, and killing me meaning like the pepper is strong and the bitterness is strong. So it keeps reminding you, hey, I'm here while I'm having the conversation. So I don't know. Second third, be right back. All right, second third. Second third, the strain went up, flavor did not. So it's like a medium plus right now. Still tastes like grape. Skin, dryness, a little bit bitter. The bitterness went down just a little bit. But still, like, tastes dry. Pepper's still there. This little bit of, like, hay sweetness. Not even cedar sweet. It's like woodsy hay sweetness. And that's pretty much it. But strength went up. And I don't think the sweetness uh, justified the strength right now. There's, like, not... Well, the, yeah, the overall flavor did not justify the strength right now. But it's peppery, so if you like peppery cigar and like you know don't want that dimension, it's okay. It's pretty that. It's pretty much that, right? But if you want dimension, you want different elements, this cigar doesn't do do very good job right now. So Luster, let's finish up. But nine dollar fifty cent? I don't know. We can probably go close to that, but I don't know. Well, let's finish last third and we'll talk about that. Be right back. Finished up. Okay, so last third, um, it died down a little bit. It's more like watered down taste. On the nose, there's still 
have a <clears throat> stronger woozy tone. But everything else is kind of watered down. Yeah, you can taste it, but it's watered down. String, medium, medium plus maybe. And that's pretty much it. So, with that being said, how much I think this cigar is worth for my enjoyment? Roughly seven fifty, roughly seven seven fifty. Um, <clears throat> I can see it as like, oh, I went to a cigar shop. I paid seven fifty, uh, just to try it and never smoke it again. Something like that. I can totally see that. I uh, uh, when I buy a box for it, only if I'm collecting the box, uh, well, I, and then now give the cigars away. I probably would not. Would not think that is something that I want to smoke all the time, kind of thing. So, yeah, that will be seven to seven fifty ish. So it's not, it's not just a cigar. It's a little bit better than just a cigar. It has flavor. Some people may like it, but you gotta like that certain texture, mouthfeel of that cigar. If you don't, then probably won't. So seven to seven fifty. So what did you try it? Yeah, I mean, if you don't know that particular palette, you don't know how like, you know, dry grape tastes like, you can either go drink a really young Malo to get that kind of like grapey skin, text feel, te texture, mouth feel, or you can smoke one of these cigars, right? So. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what else is uh, in this cigar, but I don't, I can't think of anything else that's particular that shines for this cigar. So it is what it is. That will be it for this particular cigar review. And if you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, listen to our podcast, get our swag, uh, join the membership, blah. And uh, make sure to also check out Smoke One if you have one. Eric's cigar review. He, I don't know if he reviewed this one, but he have other cigar reviews. So I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.